lawmakers crack down on drunk and drugged drivers, regulate high donor groups that finance state elections, and approve Bible teachings in public schools. On day 30, the halfway mark of the 2010 Kentucky General Assembly in regular session. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Legislative Update tonight. I'm Renee Shaw. A Northern Kentucky Democrat is pushing for DUI offenders, even on their first conviction, to face tougher repercussions for deciding to drink and drive. Representative Dennis Keene is the sponsor of House Bill 58 that requires all DUI offenders to have what's called an ignition interlock device installed on their vehicles. The breathing devices sample a driver's alcohol content before a car will start, and if the vehicle is already in motion, flashing lights and a horn will sound. Representative Keene said 12 states currently require the devices for DUI offenders. He said the issue is personal for him as his daughter was seriously injured injured in a head-on collision caused by a drunk driver in 2002. His daughter survived, but Keene said that fortunate ending eludes many Kentucky families who've lost loved ones to a drunken driver. In 2008, 11,773 people were killed in crashes involving a drunk driver. People who have previous drunk driving convictions make up approximately one-third of the drunken driving problem in America. Even first-time offenses are serious indicators that a person is likely to become a repeat offender because the first-time offenders have driven drunk an average of 87 times before they are caught. And repeat offenders walk amongst us every day. Who would have thought that former UK head basketball coach Billy Gillespie would lose his job and have his career stalled because of his third DUI arrest? I'm sure you all read the front page of yesterday's Lexington Herald Leader, which talked about his ongoing problems in life after his third arrest. If there had been some deterrent to him getting in the car and driving drunk a second time, perhaps he would still be coaching at a top college program. The ignition interlock devices would be required for vehicles driven by DUI offenders, except, explained Keene, for those driving a company vehicle. Several lawmakers shared brief testimonies about how the issue has impacted them in one way or the other. Republican C.B. Embry was among them. A number of years ago, a uh, bus with some young people was returning from a day at uh, Kings Island. They was returning to a county that I represent, uh, a drunk driver driving on the wrong side of the road on Interstate 71 hit that bus. A number of those young people were killed, several were maimed for life. A marker on Interstate 71 marks that uh, Carroll County accident. We all know uh, sons and daughters, husbands or wives or grandparents, or in my case, a school classmate who has lost their life due to uh, a drunk driver. This is a very important bill. I urge my uh, uh, colleagues to support it. I'm very proud to be one of the uh, co-sponsors. Thank you. Representative Dennis Keene's House Bill 58 cleared the House 95 to 0. It now advances to the Senate for consideration there.